don't blink. You know, anytime I'm in there, I think it's, you know, any, anything can happen. Um, just, you know, don't blink. Helen E. here in Phoenix, Arizona, being joined by the one and only Sugar Sean O'Malley. Now, big fight coming up, and of course, the fans will be in attendance. So, what can they expect from your walkout? Yeah, um, six nine. Danny's letting me use one of his unreleased songs. Uh, I know there's been a bunch of snippets out there for the last couple months. Um, so this will be the first time it's going to be completely played. I know Six is going to be there. Steve, uh, Steve will do. It's going to be there. So got got all the boys there. It's going to be. It's UFC 269. It's going to be epic. Absolutely. Now, I saw on Timbo Sugar Show that aren't some people trying to walk out with you as well? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, UFC's never really been about that, like boxing, where someone you know walks out with, with the people. So I don't think that'll probably happen. Um, but yeah, the, the boys are trying to walk out with me. Uh, we'll see. I'm sure they'll be front row, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it'll definitely be exciting for sure. But looking at your fight, where do you think a win over Hollyon takes you in the bantamweight division? Right now, I feel like I'm 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 the unranked champ. I kind of you know I think this fight takes me to to Adrian Yanez. That's what you know people have wanted that fight for the last two, three, four matchups. People were saying that this would be a great fight, good uh, good matchup. So you know I think that makes sense. March, you know, late February, early March. The Sugar Show versus Adrian Yanez, and I don't want to get, you know, I got I got Paiva in front of me. I have to handle Paiva. I got to go out there and put on a performance and do what I do, which is put him away. But but that you know, if if I had to answer what's next, I would say probably Adrian Yanez. Well, this division and the title picture is very interesting. But once again, I saw on your show, the Timbo Sugar Show, that you said Pewter Yan is one of your favorite fighters to watch right now. So what do you make of the title picture landscape? And Aljamain, Aljamain Sterling saying he's expecting to return in February or March. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, then we get we get to see the rematch. Peter versus Aljo and see who's, who's the champ. I think a lot of people kind of just assume Peter's the champ um but I guess it's hard it's pointless to say one or the other's the champ until they fight again so I think you know that 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 fight plays out winner fights the winner of Aldo Ron uh Aldo Rob Font and I, I called him Fabrant one time and now I, it comes to me every time like that um so I think you know that makes sense and we'll see how the division plays out TJ's obviously up there um with an impressive victory over Corey. I thought Corey won that fight, but even, you know, Corey got a shot at Peter. And uh, that was a sweet fight. Great performance from both those guys. Uh, the the bandweight division's on fire right now. Definitely. So many fun matchups as well. But you said on your show that you feel someday you'll end up meeting Peter Young, and that'll be such a fun fight. So ideally for you, when do you foresee that happening? Um... I, I I really don't know. It, it's hard to say. It, it, I got I got this fight. I got Adrian Yanez, and I got one more fight on my contract. And uh, you know, I think we'll, we'll just see how it plays out. I think me and Peter will fight one day in the UFC. Massive pay per view, probably for the belt. Um, I can't put an exact date on it, but that fight's gonna happen. And one of your favorite fighters, Conor McGregor, he recently called you slick. But Michael Chandler, he's kind of been nicely calling out Conor for a fight. Do you think that matchup should happen? I think um, Michael Chandler is a tough, tough fight for anyone. Conor typically does good against those shorter guys. Um, I just don't know. I think Conor, I, I don't know if Conor looks at Michael Chandler and thinks that's a, that's a good good a comeback fight. I don't. I don't really know if we don't, we don't know what Connor's thinking. We really don't. I'm glad he's at least saying that he's not going to fight till later in 2022, because um, that was a very bad injury and that's just it, that takes time to heal. So, you know, I think he'll make whatever decision he makes will, will be the right decision. And um, whether it's Chandler, I, it, there's no easy fight for Connor to come back to the 55 pound division, or if he takes a fight at 170. I know he said he's walking around at like 189 right now, and Kavanaugh said he doesn't really want him cutting weight. It, it's we'll see I think Chandler probably walking around similar Chandler's a thick dude he's not very tall but he's thick um we'll see that's a dangerous fight and lastly who do you think wins it in the main event Dustin Poirier or Charles Oliveira oh that's tough that is such a tough fight 
for me to guess. I just I hate predicting fights. Put me on the spot. I haven't thought about it fully. Um, I don't know. Me and Dustin both were on the same same pay per view last time. We both got the job done. Huge fan of Charles Oliveira. I think his story, his career has been really, really cool to watch play out. He's dangerous. Dustin knows how to get into those wars and win those wars. Um, I, I, I don't know. Me and Dustin were on the same card last time. Both got the victory. So I'm gonna maybe just go from go from that. I'll say Dustin, but really, that's a coin flip. <laughs>